Thanks for joining me for this edition of the Church Security Answer Man. Breaking news at a church in Louisiana. Chaos breaks out. A man apparently shows up with a gun and is trying to enter the church. And many people believe to be violent with the church, but he was stopped. You can see here, here's the scene as it's uh, unfolding. You can see police officer in the upper right corner there. And there's in the live stream, you can see police officers moving around the facility. You can see the uh, priests are down uh, behind the uh, altar there taking cover. And uh, it was just a scene of chaos for a few moments as uh, this um, young man apparently showed up and uh, was armed. And I, I'm hearing gun, guns. I'm not sure how many he had. So the details are still breaking out. But let's talk about what details we are. You can see how large the church is here. So quite a large uh, facility. The details that we do know. Uh, St. Mary Magdalene Catholic Church, Ab Abbeville, Louisiana. Uh, sadly, this is a first communion service that's going on. So this is uh, where the youngsters are doing their first communion service. Uh, they're walking up front. They're hanging out up front, preparing for that service when this uh, begins to break. And so part of the anxiety for people that was reported was that parents were separated from their kids. Their kids are all up front. Parents are in the back. The details, as we know, uh, this young man comes to the entrance, the back doors, is suspicious for whatever reason. It looks like he's dressed in all black in a hoodie, and he's got a gun or guns. I see two different reports between the news reports, uh, the official words that were put out, and then on their Facebook page, there's some people making comments. It appeared he imposed an immediate threat, and I don't have those details, but that's what everybody was saying. They were scared, and they were reacting to this uh, incident. Uh, parishioners stop him at the back door, somewhere right close to the back door, and the police are called and take him into custody. But it sounds like the parishioners are the ones that jumped into action. One person on Facebook said their uh, military son jumped into action and uh, stopped that uh, person, stopped the suspect. So I'm not sure what that what that entails yet, but they apparently pushed him back outside or escorted him back outside, and police arrived and took him into custody. Uh, here you can see a picture of him right here as he's taken into custody. Very interesting situation, scary, scary situation for these folks. Uh, at some point... The police do enter the building and uh, do a search. And at some point, the parishioners are reporting that they were told to get down. Uh, then they were told to slowly go get their children. And they were told to evacuate. So I don't know all the details. I don't know when, when the police evacuation occurred. Many of the reports are making it sound like they were just doing a thorough check to make sure there wasn't anybody else or that they had the right suspect in custody, but I, it's very early on. And so I don't have all the details, but I wanted to bring this to you because we're right in the middle of services. It's Saturday. And so we've got all the churches with Saturday services going on. We've got Sunday services coming up. And so I wanted to make sure and get this information out to you so that you can talk about it amongst your uh, folks, if you will. So Facebook page, you know, I've, I've, I looked at all the details, all the resources that I can find and to give the best information to you. And people on Facebook, on the church's Facebook page are confirming many of these details. And they're, some of them are very traumatized by it, especially I think the parents being separated from their uh, kids was a, was a very big deal to them. So large church, uh, Louisiana and uh, you know, every church it seems to be a target these days from folks. So we need to be prepared. There's more and more. We just talked about it in our live with Buddy. Uh, you know, there's more and more threats towards churches, more and more focus. The lone wolf stuff, I, you know, I'm just afraid the lone wolf issues are going to come out of the woodwork because people are just getting fired up. All the college protesting going on, uh, just everything is really kind of heated right now over this uh, uh, war, if you want to call it that, over in Israel and the Gaza area. And so I just think things are heated up, and it seems to be the churches are taking a little bit more heat with the reports of vandalism and 
threats towards the churches and stuff. So, you know, realistically, though, we need to be paying attention to what's going on. And I hope you'll take this uh, as it's intended, this uh, just early report. And I'll give you an update a little bit later as I learn more details. But we need to be on our guard. And I hope you and your team will talk about this before your services today or this week, but before tomorrow. So important stuff. Uh, please like and subscribe. I hope you'll connect with us. And then take a look at this next.